In Thailand, they're always like, where you come from? But it's not like the rude way. They just want to know like, who are you? I was born and raised in the US. My ethnicity is Chinese and my nationality is American. So I always say, oh, I'm Chinese American, but I really like Thailand. So that's why I'm in Bangkok right now. And then right now I'm actually in Thailand under the non-immigrant ED visa, learning Thai online for six hours a week. And I think this is one of the easiest way to stay in Thailand or like I'm buying time for me to be in Thailand. And I actually am interested in learning Thai not just because of the visa it's because I actually want to learn Thai because I know English and Chinese already the next language that I want to learn or master is Thai actually up comment did a video on me a while ago the title of that video I think they said that I came to Thailand because of BL which is partially true because I started watching Thai series in April 2020 so together is like my first BL but it's not just because of BL nowadays I listen to Chinese songs and Thai songs and Thai songs I don't know why, I think it's just super fun. Actually, I think the Thai language is super fun because Thai is like a tonal language and so is Chinese. And because I know Cantonese, Thai is not that hard for me. I think I'm okay with the tones, but not the sentences. I really like Thailand, but I gotta remember that I am a US citizen, US passport holder. I'm trying to stay in Thailand for as long as possible legally. And the best way is to take like the Thai language class. So I'll probably do that for one or two years. I'm not gonna do elite visa because it's quite expensive. And I think they're increasing the price. Ah, hello. Not like that. They're so sweet and the number is five and you know five means ha 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 in Thai. Ooh. I feel like this is not something you want to do alone because I kind of want to get on like the boat but no one would do it with me. Holy crap. I think it's free for the thing. I'm not sure. I don't know how to read Thai. The only word that I saw is free. When I came here for the first time in November 2022, I was walking on the skywalk at Central World. I didn't tell anyone actually. I didn't even write it down but I was standing there on the skywalk and I was looking at the street. I think it's Racha the song. I forgot how to pronounce it or I forgot the street name but you know the street with like seven lanes by Central World. I like stood there on the uh, skywalk thought to myself like the next time I come here I won't be a tourist here I am that's why I believe in manifestation and if you really want something you'll find a way to get it but it's just that like you don't know how long or when I'm not a nature person I don't really go to the park but the thing I like about Thailand or Bang actually I keep saying Thailand but what I mean is Bangkok the thing that I like about Bangkok is that you get like a park in the middle of the city and this Lumpini Park specifically, it would be looking like Hawaii or Miami. I haven't been to a lot of places, but out of the places that I've been to, I think Bangkok makes me the most happy. But I don't want to define it with happiness because happiness comes and go. Whenever I meet new people, which is pretty tiring actually. I'm actually an introvert in case if you don't know I'm INTJ. Like I act ENFP on camera and when I meet people but deep down I'm more like INTJ like I like to be alone and to be honest I don't really have any friends. Not the sad way but I really don't have friends. Whenever I meet someone new they ask me why do you like Thailand? But my answer is always I like the person that I become in Thailand. This is like the short answer like the easiest way to tell people why I'm here. I don't want to be cliche and be like oh it's the people it's the culture. Even though that, that is part of it but I think it's more about the person that I become. My monthly expense living in Bangkok is $1,500 to $2,000 a month. That's what I spend on accommodation, transportation, food, and miscellaneous. If I really, really budget, I can get it down to $1,500, I would say. But this number, $1,500 to $2,000, is like a super comfortable living lifestyle. Let's say if I go to New York, then $2,000 is like the rent, like just the rent for like a decent place. I feel like I'm getting more quality of life out of Bangkok than I would if I was in the US. I always ask people like what would they be doing if they had money a lot of them say travel but I think tourism is a scam my mini dream for the past two three years is to live in Bangkok back when I was in the US I was thinking oh if I had money I would want to be living in Bangkok why not just do it I'm 24 so I don't really have that much responsibilities whenever I tell people that I came to Thailand alone or that I'm here alone they're always like oh you're so brave but I don't think it's about bravery I think it's more about money like if you had money i think a lot of people would be doing what i'm doing but maybe some people don't want to come to thailand but for me i want to be in thailand bangkok you can get like the city experience without paying like a city price i mean like it is expensive but if you're coming from the us it's not that bad lumpini park kind of reminds me of central park in new york but 
better? I think everything in Bangkok is better to be honest. Maybe I'm just biased. I don't really have time to be lonely because I am quite busy. I either film or edit. I don't have any love life like I, there's no reason for me to lie the thing is i don't know how long i'm gonna stay here and nowhere i go is permanent so in a way there's a part of me that don't want to start anything with anyone because i don't want to get hurt lately i have a new idea where i don't really want to like anyone like i'm trying to like i'm stopping myself from liking anyone even if the guy is decent which actually to be honest i have not met any decent guys maybe because i don't really get out the house to begin with i'm kind of doing a thing where i try not to like anyone because if i don't like anyone then i don't have to go through potential rejection so in a way i know that i'm kind of avoiding it but i just want to focus on <laughs> but i just want to focus on youtube and i'm starting to post on TikTok. <laughs> I made eye contact with the guy running. Actually, it motivates me when people run. Actually, I like uh, when guys are athletic, but at the same time, I'm not athletic, so I can't ask for a guy that's athletic. This grass looks interesting. It looks like a leaf. I don't have any dating app now. I'm trying to cut all the guys out of my life because I don't want to like anyone because if I don't like anyone, then I won't go through potential rejection or break up, getting to know someone and then becoming strangers again. There's actually a song in Chinese, it's called 再见只是陌生人 and I feel like that's with a lot of people in life. The song means like when you see each other again, you're just strangers. So that's why I am alone a lot. There's a part of me that don't want to start anything with anyone, like both friends and relationship. A lot of my best memories are spent alone or by myself like even with Chiang Mai which you saw in the vlog it was a nice memory for me because I spent it alone but I feel like if I spent it with someone I like and then that person that I like is like away or we separated then that memory becomes bitter which is so ironic because sometimes I want to share experiences with people if I don't like that person I don't care but if I like someone I want to share an experience with them maybe one day you become strangers again and that memory you share together don't mean anything anymore anyway what the heck this background kind of looks like uh Hawaii or Miami or low-key reminds me of the US so that's why I like Thailand because it has everything I really 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 like Bangkok and I'm not just saying it for the video because I don't need to like if I don't like I just don't say but because I like I want to say it a lot of people either don't have time or don't have money and I'm really privileged I have both not that I'm rich but I'm telling you I spend like 1,500 to 2,000 a month in Bangkok so that is just expenses but let's say I earn like 2,000 a month then i can technically like live on my own you know i'm open about everything except for family because i feel like family is something to keep private but if you ask me about finance or relationship i can tell you relationship and love life i do not have so i will talk about it i won't talk about that actually but i can tell you like my ideas or my ideal man wait let me tell you my ideal man so i actually have a list because i believe in manifestation and meant to be so that's why i want to have an idea of what kind of guy I like so that I'm not like wasting time on people that I am not interested in or not my type but I will insert like my ideal man here I know that it's not realistic to have a list but I still want to have an idea of what I want in a person in terms of appearance and personality actually I don't like going to zoos not because I like animals but because I don't like the idea that like an animal is trapped there and maybe like people argue that oh they're like treated really well which I don't know, I haven't looked into zoos that much. But I don't like the idea of something being trapped at a certain place. I really value freedom in my life, so I feel like if I had someone... It's not like that they're taking away my freedom, but I have to think about them every time I make a decision. Oh yeah, by the way, did I tell you that I do not plan on getting married or having kids? But sometimes seeing kids, it makes me laugh. They're quite innocent and funny, and I feel like you can make a meme out of kids. And you know these chairs, they look really crusty, but they kind of remind me of like the grandmas and uncles that sit in the park that reads. Earlier I told you I only went on two dates in Thailand, and they're both with Thai guys. The first one I actually quite like. I think he was quite cute. I'm not going to tell you like all the details because I kind of want to keep it between me and him, and I don't know if he watches my video, but I think he watches my video. Our like first date at the night market he seemed genuinely happy and he was like smiling he's like and then when we're eating he was also like smiling and he looked super happy and i was like are you actually happy he kind of looked away and then he said something like oh maybe because i'm like glowing next to you something about me he might just be saying that because he wanted to flirt with me huh? 
I don't know if the kids are like laughing at me or what. What the heck? So those two kids. I'm not gonna show you their face. I think they saw me like out here recording and then like one of the kids was like, Pee. One of the kids was like, Pee con soy cup. He basically said that I'm pretty, but I'm just like, uh, kaku ka. But it's like, man, kids be flirting these days. I wanted to support Thailand's economy, so I bought this drink for 16 baht, but I think I've seen this like brand somewhere. I don't get per vibe from them. I don't feel invaded. I feel like I feel like it's funny. You know how like some guys from some cities or countries they give you per vibe. But in Thailand, I don't feel like Thai guys give me per vibe. And like a lot of them <gasps> holy Dang. But let me drink this mango juice. It tastes like really thick mango juice. Someone asked me what I don't like about Thailand and I just said... Actually, I didn't say anything because I couldn't think of something that I don't like. The only thing that is kind of sketchy is when you cross the street, but I feel like that's also part of it. You know that I left home with one backpack and one luggage. Any trip that I go on, I only bring one backpack, but this time when I left home, I brought one backpack and one luggage because I knew that I want to end up in Bangkok, so that's why I brought a little bit more. If you ever try backpacking, it really teaches you like what you actually need in life. I don't have any guys in my life right now. Cause you know how like some people have like five flings? I don't have any flings and I don't want to call them my flings. I don't want a guy to sim for me unless if I like them. Like if they like me and I like them, then you can sim for me. But if I don't like you, don't sim for me. Hope you got a little insight into what kind of person I'm like because with the vlogs, it's like an edited version of me. So it's not actually me. I mean, it is me, but it's just a part of me. It's not like the 100% me. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you in another video.